That's why people say, that's why leftists say cops are class traitors because cops themselves are fucking uh, working class themselves. How do you counter that capitalist takes risks so they deserve a bigger share? I need to know. A risk assumed by a capitalist or a business owner is the exact same kind of risk that the fucking worker has, okay? But we never talk about the risk that the workers have. We only talk about the business owner. And the biggest risk of it all is that business owner turning into a worker themselves. Yeah. The largest risk that you have as a business owner is literally what? Rejoining the workforce and becoming a worker? So you understand how fucking bad it is. I got it. Okay, never mind. Bankruptcy law? Yeah, they don't fucking kill you when you, when you get bankrupt. You don't go to jail, brother. Starbucks is an easier path to unionizing than other fast foods since they're not franchised. There needs to be a movement to help them. It will help the rise of unions for other companies. I think part of the reason why it's hard for fucking Starbucks to uh, get employees to unionize is because from everything I've seen outside, um, uh, everything for, that I've seen from Starbucks, uh, is that uh, they actually do treat their employees uh, relatively decently in comparison to other uh, franchises. They do offer a fuckload of benefits from what I understand. Like, notorious for offering a fuckload of benefits to their, uh, to their workers. Hashtag ad? I mean, it's not... Dude, there's fucking baristas at Starbucks in my audience right now. They will probably back up what I'm saying. They offer healthcare. They offer fucking education costs. Costco is another one too. Like there, there are a couple companies. Not saying that they're good. They're still exploitative. It's they're capitalists, obviously. But in comparison to the other, uh, in comparison to the other fucking places, like in comparison to the other workplaces, especially in America. Uh, is in, in similar fields, they are doing a lot uh, more for their workers. <laughs> Former Starbucks employee here, the job itself works, but the benefits and pay are insane. It's really competitive to work there now. Anyway, um, speaking, of, uh, speaking of my workplace obligations, ironic because I'm talking about Amazon's anti-union blitz, and also the ads that they're playing on the fucking platform. It's top of the hour every hour. It's time for a 60 second ad break. Hey, maybe if you're uh, tuning in from Alabama, you'll see one of these ads that I'm about to run on the other side. Um, if you would like to uh, no longer see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5 or you can do it for free with a Twitch Prime subscription by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account to get one free Prime subscription a month. But uh, here is the ad. The 60 second ad now. No. We at the Birmingham. Amazon is running a second ad on Twitch in Alabama. Let's see what this one is. This to be a union rep in Los Angeles at International Airport. And they don't do nothing but take your money. They just take your money. And they don't do anything for you. I would keep what Amazon got. I love it. Yeah, I want to make my career here. I don't need the union. I'm going to vote no. I think the union coming in here would be devastating. We're all one. Let's get it done. I, I love that, like, this notion is that, like, okay, here's the thing. This notion that, like, <laughs> it's very good use of language where they make it seem like the union is an outside force and not literally the workers themselves organizing. Okay. Like that's the fucking greatest take here is that like Amazon 
your corporate overlord that is literally designed as an authoritarian state in and of itself and has pretty much the power of a literal fucking state is actually your friend and your family whereas the union that is only uh created and formed by the fucking workers and with like an outside uh, uh consultant offering you guidance and help and uh union dues that they're taking away from you so that you know you will have strike funds and and uh power to be able to uh power to be able to fight back in in times when you're getting fucked over um those guys are the outside sources they make it seem like it's an outside regulation over the workers yeah third party in the union is a classic union busting tactic yup yup yup how many people are corporate office workers and how many are pickers of the fulfillment center you can still find a a, a, a, a, a a person who is literally working in the front lines have this sort of take because crabs in a bucket, American individualism, like it's, it's completely, it's uh, completely fucking ingrained in the American identity. Literally wearing a shirt of a union worker? Wait, me? Am I? I? I don't know who made this. Did you make this? Oh, the guy in the video was? An eternity! With your support, we will send the hammer of the people's will crashing through the windows of Mr. Krabs' house of servitude! Pretty based. When I was a teenager working at Walmart, they had anti-union videos in the training class. They taught us never to give out our signature to the union and that they were stealing our money. I believe this bullshit when I was younger is total brainwashing. Yeah. One of my favorite anti-union takes is, uh, dude, what are you doing? Just like your union dues mean a PlayStation, bro. Are you fucking stupid? Like, just buy a PlayStation, which is, again, the perfect American fucking identity, dude. Instead of, instead of, taking away some of your fucking uh, hard-earned dollars that your bosses are fucking taking from you and giving it to a giving it to a fucking organization that's going to fight for your rights um that that will allow you to organize effectively and get better benefits for yourself and shit like that just spend it on immediate consumer uh immediate consumption come on come on come on just just fucking don't be stupid you can buy an amazon uh, i mean you can buy an amazon you can buy a fucking playstation come on come on come on come on are you stupid don't do that yeah, forget about your fucking labor rights and just buy a fucking PlayStation, you stupid fuck. Do you think it's possible to form a baseline safety net for one of those communities to local organizing, helping out with the threat of uh, losing work? Um, maybe, but not really. The best union we had here was that, uh, that of the metallurgical industry in the 80s. They totally stopped the production of cars in the interior of Sao Paulo for the fight for better working conditions. It was from this movement that Brazil's best president emerged at the end of the dictatorship, Lula. How does someone pay their union dues? Does it come out of the paycheck directly? Uh, I don't know. I think you just... I, I think you just pay the union directly. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, it comes out of your paycheck? Never mind. Yep, they take mine out of my check, but you do get a lot of benefits. Of course. The union takes your first two children and brands them easy payment. Oh, see opinions on cum stacking. I did not Google it. I have no idea what the fuck it is. But the business owner invests their money into the company so it fails, they lose their money and their job. Workers don't invest any of their money into the company so if it fails, they just lose their job. 
Yeah, but they're workers because they don't have the fucking capital, brother. So they're destined to a lifetime of work. When a boss fucking loses their money, now they're back to square one where they have to become workers as well. That's the fucking point. That's the irony is that a boss, an owner, knows how bad it is to be a fucking worker. Another promo video for the union featuring Ilhan and Byrne. What? Ilhan is that big fish. The fight that you are waging is not... Oh no, this is more perfect union. That's different. This is like an ad for unions. It's only going to impact people where you work. It's going to send a message to workers all across this country. It sort of is a domino effect. The value for it is not only for you singularly, but for the present the past it's pretty fucking awesome that danny glover went down there the too future. that's why we need you to vote yes even if you are taking on the richest guy in the country even if you are taking on a incredibly powerful corporation you deserve the dignity and well-being that a union can help provide allowing you to care for yourself and those you love the five-day work week 40-hour work week um the weekends we enjoy paid holidays, sick days and vacations, overtime, family and medical leave, military leave, safety standards, and so much more. All of that is um, the work of unions. Workers stand up, stand together, and fight. They can win. When voices have been silenced throughout our history, unions have also been a place to give voice to working families. If you don't feel dignified, um, and you're constantly fighting for your humanity to be recognized. Um, you're just a shell of, of a person. You're not fully existing. I know it's not easy. Shut up, Ilhan. You're wearing... Shut up, Ilhan. You're wearing a turban. I don't want to listen to you. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I, I'm actually... I have a right to be free. I have a right to be free. And by free, I mean uh, right to get fucked over by my bosses. Fuck you. It's my choice. I know that Amazon... Oh! Liberals talk about my body, my choice, but not when it comes to me, my uh, boot sucking fetish. Uh, I'm sorry, L Hound. I want to suck on these boots, all right? Amazon is putting a lot of pressure on you to vote against the union. But I hope that you guys stand together, do the right thing, and tell the world that the workers at Amazon are prepared to move forward and create the first union in Amazon in the United States of America, right there in Alabama. You carry on the spirit and tradition in Alabama that is fought against- Bitch, most of the warehouse workers are black and democratic. A uh, fun fact, yes, the black workforce in the United States of America has a higher unionization rate than the white workforce does. Fun fact that most people don't know. So whenever people say like, unions are actually racist, sweaty, if you hear like uh, liberals try to fucking counter you with that, like uh, one time uh, Giancarlo, uh, Gianno uh, tried to do to me on Fox News. You can just counter with that take. Um, yeah. So many obstacles. You carry on. You're the continuum of that, that struggle. It is the right thing to do. It is the just thing to do. And God bless you. What does it take on the minimum wage laws? In my opinion, it's one of the things that hurt unions the most is they make it much more difficult to negotiate better minimum wage for your own workplace. Minimum wage laws, unfortunately, have to exist in the United States because there's only an 11%. Uh, there, there's uh, the, the, unionization, the, uh, the unionization rate in the workforce in America is at 11%. So, no. I don't have a bigger question, but what do unions do to make things better? Like, how does it work? Oh my God. I just described literally all of it. Didn't I, didn't I just describe everything? Like, you know, you want to work for the fucking, the, the least amount of time as a worker, but for the most amount of pay and your bosses will have the diametrically opposite fucking, uh, interest. And the only way to arrive at a reasonable compromise is by demonstrating the power that you have. And demonstrating the power that you have is by, you know, getting together in your workplace and showing your bosses that 
without you and your fellow workers, all they have is just a fucking empty factory and you know, it's just there's no there's no value without labor. New here, is this a political stream? Sometimes. I have seen the ads running on Twitch. Uh, I was just making fun of them. What kind of argument do you give chuds like my family when they say unions are making workers lazy? Dude, make fun of them, okay? Here's the best way to counter these people. Whenever other workers shit on other workers and say they fucking, uh, they, they're making them lazy, be like, why are you such a cuck? Like, what is this stupid fucking peasant mentality that you have, dad? Like, you stupid fucking brain dead dad of mine. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you for thinking like, oh, it makes workers lazy. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You think rich people, you think rich people are ever like, oh, I'm being so lazy right now by not working, you know, 13 hours a fucking day. Dumbass. No, it's not laziness. You stupid fucking father of mine. It's actually being smart. You're working smart. Okay. You're, you're getting more of the profits that you generate for your fucking bosses. Unless you unironically, stupid father of mine, legitimately believe that Jeff Bezos, Jeffrey Jebediah Bezos, is working seven gorillion times harder than mom over here is a fucking nurse, okay? And doing like back-to-back -back fucking uh, overtime and back-to-back and -back shifts. Are you stupid, dad? Is that, is that what you think? That's something you can say, I guess. Not those exact words, but... I hear a lot of people shit on teachers unions making teachers lazy. Yeah, dude. Uh, wait, March 4th is going to be another sweet cope session? Really? Life amid the ruins of QAnon. I wanted my family back. What's going to happen on March 4th? I have a good dad. I can speak like that to him. Okay, I was kidding. I would never be able to speak like that to my dad either. I've called my dad a cock. He just makes, he says it makes him more of a man to work more. Then fucking, then you deserve to be enslaved. I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say about it. Other than like, like if you're literally enjoying it, then it's your fucking kink. And I don't want to kink shame. Hey dad, I don't want to fucking kink shame you. Okay. You know, you, you like being cucked. So whatever you know you are you're happy being a peasant i'm glad that you can survive that's cool i'm not gonna do that personally and uh you know i'm not gonna kink shame you but i'm not gonna i am not gonna get cucked in the way that you are getting cucked Then why doesn't dad ask his boss for less money and more hours? Actually, that's a pretty good counter too. Yeah, ask your dad why he doesn't ask for less money and more hours. If he likes, uh, if, it, if that makes him such a hard ass. If that makes him so fucking hard, I mean, dude, nothing, nothing is harder than literally fucking saying like, Hey boss, man, I'm going to, I'm going to work. I'm going to work for uh, a little bit extra today. And I actually want you to pay me less. Okay. Can you please do that? Serious question, I'm just wondering about this. I don't mean this in a negative way. When stuff becomes fully automated, such as the car factory produces cars fully automatically and very few people actually work, where will people get the money to buy stuff? I assume the system would adapt at that point. Yes. And the way that it's going is going to be probably universal basic income, which is going to be fucking shitty uh, and, and horrible and not enough. But the real way to do it with uh, full technological achievements, especially because someone's still going to have to do upkeep on those machinery. Someone's still going to have to, uh, you know, build the machinery itself fix it when it's broken. So there's always going to be additional jobs that get created. Okay. 
um, as a consequence of the automation, but uh, it's going to limit the uh, unfulfilling. What? Jahreen is talking about you? What? I don't understand. What's he saying? Um, UBI, easy is a shit job though. One can probably live off that. What if we just have machines do all that? Elon Musk treats his staff like his ex-wives poggers. Having enough money to live is so beta, dude. I know. Anyway, where was I? Okay, hold on. I'm getting fucking packages too. What the fuck's going on right now? So much shit's happening. Oh, here, I wanted to leave this with you for I just wanted to show you guys, uh, show you boys something awesome here. Uh, net favorability, uh, new net favorability just dropped from uh, the Economist YouGov poll. It is online though. But, um, Joe Sanders at a plus 10, Biden at plus 8, nice. Harris at plus 5, AOC at plus 1, Rush Limbaugh at minus 9. <laughs> Lol, why the fuck were they polling for Limbaugh? He just died. That's so funny. Dies, still loses his fucking... Died very unfavorable. Disgraceful. Nipples protruding. Dies unfavorably. Very disgraceful. Believe me, not good. Not good, folks. Not good at all. Maybe they, uh... <laughs> Maybe they McConnell minus 49 Cruz minus 23 Cuomo minus 23 Holly green Pelosi at minus 11. That's weird. This is the first time AOC has had a positive favorability. It is surprising. It is surprising people that fucking, um, AOC has a lot of qualities. AOC has a lot of qualities that make her uh, unfavorable Hasan Kebab Jaosini Chaudhuri. I've been not being on limit him now. I'm on my big Uh Does that mean people liked Rush more when he was alive? I don't know. I'm gonna be so sad when you get busted for not putting weights back or whatever you get canceled for. You always make me laugh. What do you mean? I'm gonna get canceled for not putting weights back at the gym. What are you crazy? Conservatives have a hard on for hating Pelosi, so it's not surprising. So much for being pro life. Charmiolar, yalan atıyorlar. Ha, öyle mi? Ya bırakın Joey, her zorumuzu da sikeceğim. İşçi hakları konuşuyor adam burada. Aynen. Um, people are so stupid. Wait, ne ne konuşuyor? Anlamadım ki Jaho. Türkçe mi stream yapmam lazım şimdi? Yapamam yani. <sighs> Okay, real question. How does the whole union conversation align with the NV Food Service Workers Union who rallied against M4A? No, that wasn't the fucking Food Service Workers Union. That was the union bosses that fucking rallied against M4A because they're, they're shitty. Like, there's no other way to describe it. And I talked about it extensively. The actual Food Service Workers Union members literally voted overwhelmingly in favor of Bernie Sanders despite what the, la what the union bosses were trying to do. So... And I called that what that that was go I said that that was going to happen after going to Nevada and even before going to Nevada exactly one year ago actually. Jahreen drama saw the issue. Be me or net drama saw. I absolutely agree. Unionize every industry. Working construction union make great money because the union wages are over the outside is making the same as a. Um, making the same as someone else when they suck ass doing an actual job and you have to pick up their slack making the same amount of money. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, people don't get paid based on performance regardless of whether unions exist or not. Like, 
your boss is, it's not like your bosses are fucking paying you because of how much performance you're putting back in. They're paying you. They're, they're basically paying you whatever they can get away with paying you no matter what. So that's going to happen whether you have a union or whether you don't have a union. Do you understand? How do you feel about Glenn uh, deciding transphobia is his new thing? He's going to force other leftists to pretend it's okay when he does it? It's not okay. I don't know why the fuck he's being transphobic. I was going to talk about that. I totally forgot. So, there is this very, very... Let's talk about this. There is this very, very bigoted take that reactionaries engage in all the time that devalues the invalidates the experience that trans people gay people lesbian people like everyone in the lgbt goes through by saying oh you're just doing it for attention right but because of the uh because of the the uh activism the the years and years of activism and finally forcing the hand of legislators uh, legislators into taking action um some uh parts of the lgbt experience has have become normalized in the United States, right? Specifically, lesbians and gays. That doesn't mean that they're still as well off as like, uh, you know, cisgender heterosexuals. Obviously not. But it's a little bit better than the rest of the LGBT community. So, so now, what has happened is that very same bigotry that was launched towards everyone in the LGBT community, specifically the gays and the lesbians, is, is, is narrowing its focus on to queer, non-binary trans folks, right? And I am not even talking about bisexuals because a big problem with uh, bisexuals is by visibility, um, but usually they just get lopped under the gay or lesbian or whatever uh, category, no matter what. So, folks, right? Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Stop, stop trying to fucking uh, take the conversation somewhere dumb right now. I, I'm trying to make like a bit of a serious statement because um, I'm not very good at uh, the gender stuff. You guys already know. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to fuck around for, for like one moment. And then we'll make some jokes in a second. Okay. So. But most people here, almost every single people, every single person here makes fun of the folks with an X thing, okay? It's like overcorrective, it's silly. Folks is literally straight the fuck up, non-gendered. Like, it's stupid. Who cares? So. So, anyway. There are new findings that came out in this Gallup poll, and... Glenn is talking about how some really fascinating findings in this big new Gallup, poll sur uh, Gallup survey on Americans identifying as LGBT. It should lead to lots of deeper investigation to understand what explains some of these astronomical changes, but for now, a few points to note. There's been a huge explosion in the number of Americans identifying as LGBT. Close to one out of every five Gen Z identifies. That's more than a fourfold inc increase from Gen X. But almost all the increase comes from those identifying as bi or trans, not gay or lesbian. So, is gender ignorant the term? Is gender ignorant the right term to be using for non-gender word? Or am I having a massive brain front? I don't fucking know, dude. Okay. So, a normal person would probably look at this and go, oh, how nice. How nice that as a consequence of all of this activism and the normalization that a lot of people are coming to terms with their sexuality or their gender orientation, gender identity, gender expression, all of that sort of stuff, and uh, are more willing and able to openly admit to themselves and others that they are, uh, that they are a certain way. A psychopath would look at this and go, well, they're putting chemicals in the fucking water, brother, so that means, you know... They're, they're force feminizing you. They're turning the frogs fucking gay. Uh, and uh, Glenn Greenwald, on the other hand, is alluding to something here. And that is the 
bigoted thing that I just described when I first introduced the subject, which is maybe they're trying to win brownie points within the PC community because it's fashionable and trendy to be trans. Okay? Trans trenders, as uh, Natalie would say, or has uh, talked about before. So, um, oh, the last part that he was mentioning, but almost all the increase comes from those identifying as bi or trans, not gay or lesbian. Of Americans now claiming bi identity, the vast majority of them in long-term relationships are in opposite sex relationship rather than same sex ones, 3.7. So 10 times more people who identify as bi live in a hetero appearing relationship than gay lesbian ones. So, um, this is just like old school internal uh, LGBT bigotry where like a gay person is saying like, oh, pff, bi, but you're like still fucking, um, like you say you're bi, but you know, you're, you're, you're in the, you're in a long-term relationship with a, an opposite sex. Like, why do you claim that you're fucking bi? It doesn't mean that you're bi. You're just probably straight. Like you're just fucking straight, which is really stupid. And that's actually what, uh, uh, bi people say is bisexual erasure, uh, ironic because, you know, I, I sometimes joke about that. Okay. Bi people have 10 X as many opposite sex people in the dating pool compared to the same sex. This doesn't mean anything. Binary gender roles push cis people to think they're trans. Those people sometimes get into the crossfire of this whole transgender thing. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> transgender kick W? No, it, it is. It, it, people legitimately think that, like, people are faking being trans. I think you're putting words into his mouth. I don't want to speak to the authors of the data of their discussion, but I don't think what Glenn did was patently wrong. Finally, as a, well, he hasn't said anything yet. He's just, these are just, these are not normative statements. These are just descriptive statements of the data. Okay. So I haven't said anything yet. I'm just simply stating that he is alluding to a certain, he's alluding to a certain concept that has, uh, that is, been around for a very long time. Finally, as famed lesbian Kitty Perzog notes, there are now among millennials and Gen Z more people identifying as trans than lesbian. She's previously argued that masculine girls are now encouraged to identify as trans, causing a decrease in lesbian population. Now, that encouragement is psychotic. What the fuck? Like, what do you mean encouraged to identify as trans rather than lesbian? Like, is there someone out there who's like, you're trans actually, you should be trans? Is that how this works? A famed lesbian. Here's Katie's article exploring whether the disappearance of lesbian culture is due to the encouragement which masculine girls receive from the society, therapists, healthcare workers, etc. to identify as trans, not as lesbian woman. So this is straight up transphobic. Like, what he's doing here is... This is... Straight the fuck up transphobia, okay? Now I'm going to describe to you why it's straight the fuck up transphobia in a brief moment, but let me just finish everything he's saying. Clearly, the massive increase in American self-identifying as LGBT and increase due to overwhelmingly more bi and trans self-identifiers is partially a function of increased societal acceptance, but that's clearly not the only factor, and I doubt it's the primary one. So that is where, that is the reason why I said this is not just descriptive, this is not him just like looking at the data, this is him implying something. And that implication literally fucking comes with an Andrew Sullivan, Notorious Turf, substack, uh, written by uh, the, the other, like, uh, turfy lesbian, Kitty, Katie Herzog, whatever the fuck. Now, what I have to say to all of this, as a cisgender, heterosexual man, is this. How the fuck do you, as a gay person, or as a lesbian, literally fucking turn around and say, trans people are faking it for social acceptance and brownie points, even though they're actually fucking lesbians, 
when I, as a cishet person, could turn around and be like, gay people are doing it for the exact same reasons, dumbass. This is such a dumb fucking take, especially from someone who is literally a part of the LGBT community. Because it's the exact same bigotry that members of the LGBT community have been subjected to throughout time. Oh, you're just fucking, you're not gay. You're just doing it for attention. You're not fucking lesbian. You're just doing it for attention. Wait, why did you stop being fucking, why did you stop doing this for attention and, you know, go fuck a dude, okay? Lesbian woman. Why don't you just stop being so fucking attention seeking and go fuck a dude is exactly the same kind of gatekeepy horse shit that straight people uh, have been subjecting the, the members of the LGBT community to for a very long time. So very, very weird that like people are like, well, now my position is normalized. So I'm just going to literally fucking turn around and do that same shit that I was subjected to, to trans people. Maybe, and just maybe, people are coming to terms and recognizing that um, sexuality is fluid, that would probably, uh, that would probably lead to an increase in, in why people identify as bisexual, okay? Because there's no fucking magical brownie points you get for being bi. Like, this isn't, guys, this isn't fucking 2014 anymore, okay? Like, putting they, them in your bio doesn't automatically uh, give you a, a, a fucking shield on the internet, okay? Sorry, it's just, that's not how it works anymore. So, I mean, I, I shit on fucking trans people when they say stupid shit all the time. Uh, it, it's not like that. Like, it doesn't work that way. It's literally how, by the way, that's literally, it never worked that way, okay? It never fucking worked that way, but that was straight the fuck up a position that reactionary people held on to in that era. Okay? That is what people thought. That was what they were saying. It was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trans, so you can't fucking uh, shit on me. Uh, if fuck you, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I can. That was absolutely a reactionary position that people held. They thought that, uh, you know, trans people could just do it to put up a shield of deflection. Okay? Or not trans people, but like uh, people that were just identifying as trans. That's not a real thing. Okay? Still does. No, that wasn't a real thing in like fucking 2014. Maybe amongst like liberals who are overcorrective and morons. Okay? But that's not a real fucking thing in general. It's like saying... It's the same energy as like fucking heterosexual people saying that like uh you know het heterosexual rights are being diminished with the existence of like gays okay it's the literal exact same fucking thing that like white people say when they're like black people are black people having more civil liberties means i don't have as many rights okay that's it, it it's not a fucking real thing as a matter of fact when you when you straight up uh when you when you put your sexuality or your gender on there in that way you're opening yourself up to a litany of attacks a line of attack all right there are liberals out there who will put on kitty gloves when dealing with trans people. Those are the same kind of liberals and the same kind of fucking energy that, uh, you know, those, those exact liberals give to black people, for example. It's like weirdly infantilizing, okay? Where it's that same like white guilt or like overcorrective liberal mentality that, uh, that revolves around, uh, you know, treating black people differently and, and, you know, not wanting to step on any toes or anything like that. Okay? And, but those liberals are a tiny fraction of the overall uh, uh, pool of human beings.
I think a lot of id Paul Center leftists also partake in that. Yes. The irony is that a lot of people that uh, shit on identity politics are just as obsessed with identity politics as the fucking Tumblr uh, kitties that they claim they're dunking on. Okay? It's just dumbass culture war shit. The argument literally is, I don't care. Just let people fucking live. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop being an asshole. Okay? Jesus Christ. I agree that Ben Shapiro thinks more about pronouns than 99% of people on the internet. Absolutely, without a doubt. I've made that joke many I, I've made that joke many times. <sighs> also, it this looks like the lesbian population increased, so I don't know why they were saying it decreased. Millennials lesbian population is 0.8%. Gen Z lesbian population is 1.4%. So I, I don't know why they... Like, I don't know what that means. The Tumblr kitties and the bigots are all the same in the way that they don't understand the issues at all, but one of them is like, oh my god, small bean, and the other is like, let's stone the gays. Yeah. He's so fucking obsessed, he actually never covers anything else on his show. I don't know how he gets funding, because a lot of people just love getting a fucking easy dunk. It Paul also makes a lot of leftists sound like reactionaries. It's like they turn off their critical thinking skills. I just... They didn't say it decreased, but that transgender people now outnumber the lesbians. Well, that in and, it's, in and of itself is at the heart of uh, being a turf, right? Like, it's the existence of trans people as a, as a legitimate threat to your existence. It's not. There's just, more, there's just more people accepting that they're fucking trans, dumbass. Shut the fuck up. If you were inferring from the data, it would make more sense to assume femme gay men are being pressured to be trans, but of course he, won't, he went down the NPC turf talking point about lesbian erasure. Yeah, it's pretty funny because like because of uh because of the normalization of misogyny, like no one literally no one gives a shit about turfs. Like most people are just like, you're a fucking weirdo blue haired lesbian, like shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? So in a weird way, like turfs get double fucked, and the only people that they can have an allegiance with is people like Glenn Greenwald or you know, fucking other reactionaries that are uh, in that moment, just trying to be transphobic, and they're like, "Oh, look, this is a feminist, and this is a lesbian here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but uh, but like they, turfs are like the the common enemy of every single fucking group on the internet. Okay, turfs, uh, a trans exclusionary radical feminist, like the unironic, uh, rad femme, like ah, like this screeching fucking blue haired person, like that is literally a turf for the most part. And the allegiances that they think that they are, the allegiances that they think that they're building with like other uh, weirdos. The the uh, the allegiances that they have with other uh, with other like reactionaries is just like put together with fucking uh, glue and tape, okay, with shoestrings. Turguarma, Turguarma. The Gallup article is much better. What? I don't fucking hide this cookie shit. Jahodan geldik. Seah. Aseh arkadaşlar. Oh, you're saying turfs. I thought you said Turks. I was going to be like, chill, eat some burek. No, turfs. Trans exclusionary radical feminists. Like, these are like uh, the, the feminists that fucking uh spend their every waking moment crying and complaining about fucking trans people existing and uh and acting like you know trans people want to fucking have sex with them or something because they're go using the same bathroom even though trans women are women you know what i mean it's just fucking stupid it's just stupid and fundamentally broken all over 
Anyway, lesbians are people who identify as women attracted to other women, but transgender in this case combines both trans men and trans women into a single category. No, only a lot of optimists. Address the raid. Wait, did I get raided? I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this. Chinebedal <laughs> Kurkumus. Okay, here, here, here, here. Okay, here. Here, here you go. Here you go. All right, here. Yeah, tur tur you can turn off the fucking... Uh... The Turks are coming! The Turks are coming! Shouts out the Jardine for the raid. Holy shit. Seo, arkadaşlar. Seo, seo, seo, seo. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jardine is a uh, Turkish Twitch streamer who was having a, a who was having a big ass stream earlier. Thank you for the raid, brother. Hope it was good. Türkler. Benim adım Hasan. Bilmiyorsanız kendine basan yok olmadı. Ne bileyim. <gülüyor> ben Amerika'da yaşıyorum. İngilizce e, politika konuşuyorum burada ben. Normalde. Genel olarak Türkçe konuşmuyorum. Yani onu söyleyeyim size baştan. Beklemeyin o yüzden benden bunu. Okay. Ama eğer İngilizce biliyorsanız ya da İngilizce öğrenmek istiyorsanız gelin burada izleyin arada sırada. Ben Cari'ne raid atarım da günde 12 saat 12 saat çalıştığım için hiç Cari'nin e, arada olmuyor yani. Ayakta olmuyor ben şey yaparken, çekim yaparken. Maalesef. Neyse. Okey, birazdan no pixel'e gideceğiz. Haberiniz olsun. No pixel tam şey. Kurtlar Vadisi, tamam mı? Birazdan no pixel'e gideceğim arkadaşlarla. Biz orada mafya e, oyunu yapıyoruz. O zaman takip edersiniz yani aynen. E, Kurtlar Vadisi gibi, tamam mı? Hasan boka basan. All right. Uh, we have been invaded by the Turks, folks. For those of you who are wondering what the fuck's going on, uh, Jaren, who's a Turkish streamer, was uh, uh, was was doing a, a gigantic stream, and uh, he uh, raided me uh, in the end of it. He had more people than XQC. Actually, he was he was like the fucking top guy. Pretty cool. I I love to see it. You know, it it uh, gives me pride and, and joy to see. Turkish streamers blowing the fuck up on the platform. They're doing great. Same shirt. How many viewers? I think he had like 80,000 at some point, right? Yeah, he had 80k viewers, this guy. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sick. I've told you guys before, there's like a... There's a massive, massive fucking Turkish community. Uh, on Twitch. Of course, they fund, I would say single-handedly fund Amaranth. You know? But uh, they sometimes subscribe and fund uh, Turkish streamers as well. Well, I guess Amaranth is is uh, functionally a Turkish streamer, if you know what I mean. Fucking falan diyor ne bu? O ama bacımız dedi. Evet, dünya ahiret bacımız Amurant. Uzayda görsem acımam ama yani. <gülüyor> RP gidiyor brom devam böyle edeceğiz yapacağız şimdi. Anyway, um
Look, look at the look at the fucking chat. As soon as I said, as soon as I said Amaranth, look at how the fucking chat lit up. Look at that. My virginity belongs to Amaranth. Shut the fuck up, Hasan. Molecular biology. Solelle yazıyorum. Lan çok abazasınız amına koyayım ya biraz. <laughs> anyway. Okay, will we watch the Bernie video? I already did. Oh, oh, oh, this Bernie video. No, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna move on to fucking uh no pixel right now, actually. That's what I'm gonna do. Apparently fucking uh GME is going to the moon, but it's time, boys. It's time for fucking Grand Theft Auto. Listen, we got the Turks in here. I gotta give him a little taste of fucking uh no pixel mafia shit, you know? Kurtlar va this polet elemnar. Dikim zurna gibi oldu. Türkiye seçiminde yayını olur mu? What do you think about uh what high school entrance exams is terrible. Seçim olur mu onu düşün önce amına koyayım. Ne? Biz rajon değil kafa keseriz burada. <gülüyor> rajon değil kafa keseriz. Okay. Abi yaşat ama sadece ilk 98 bölümü. Artık yani en sert maddesi elmas değil. Türkiye seçiminde Cari'nin yanına yayınına katılsana. Ne ne seçimi var Türkiye'de ya ben anlamadım. Okay. Anyway, um, there the Turks are telling the Turks are telling me that there is like uh some sort of I'm not going to do a Turkish character in no pixel no. The Turks are telling me that there is a uh, some sort of of election going on with Jade and I'm trying to fucking understand it but I don't know what's going on right now but uh you know stick around Turks cuz uh you're about to go on a fucking journey, all right? Election in Turkey Omega lol. We're going to be doing some crimes. Burada bizim bir, uh, we have a, uh, I have a character who's an Italian man whose name is Umberto Antonio Donato Pecorino. Okay. Here, hold on. I'll, um, I even have an airsoft gun that goes with it. This is not a real gun. It's just an airsoft gun, but, uh, we do a, uh, we do Oha gerçek silah. Değil lan gerçek değil. F-35'leri verin. Um, where I do a character called Umberto Antonio Donato Pecorino. He's an Italian mobster who owns, uh, who is a co-owner of a restaurant called The Rooster's Rest. Alongside with my friend who's an old Asian man whose name is Lang Buda. Ah, tip bu işte. Aynen bizde. Okay. And, um, yeah. All right. So now I'm going to turn off the camera for immersion. So I'm going to turn off the camera. All right, let's do this. Okay, first and foremost, one of the first fucking things I got to tell you right now, boys, boys, boys. One of the first fucking things I got to tell you is, uh, I fixed my goddamn audio. So now going forward, we got a more normalized internal reflection voice. If you know what I'm fucking saying over here. Wait, hold on. Is that a... What the fuck? Hey! Hey, yo! Hey. You work for the fucking What's Rooster's Rest. On? Wait, who is fuck this? Yeah, dude. This is Henry. How you doing? Henry, I'm I'm Don. I'm I'm one of your uh, I'm one of your bosses. Nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. You fucking scared me there. I was just sitting, you know, listening to some music. Oh, all right, good. Well, uh, I'm gonna need a ride back to the uh, the Rooster's Rest right now. How about I'm being chill? Uh, all right, hop in, I guess. All right, hold on. I gotta go hit the bank real quick, though. I'll be back in one second. Holy shit, we got fucking employees that I don't even. Holy shit, we got fucking employees that I don't even know about. What the fuck is going on? Absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's see what kind of paycheck I got. Ninety-two fucking dollars. All right, let's take a look at a fucking bank account over here. Let's see what I got. Oh, my God, we got fucking. 
1,500, 150,000 fucking dollars in a rooster's rest account. We're fucking rich boys. We're fucking rich boys. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Hold on. Right. You're not one of the fucking nerds, right? You're uh, you just like a regular. No, I'm yeah, I'm the bartender. Oh, you're the bartender. All right. What, what kind of? Whoa. It's all right. All right. Here we are. What kind of? What do you say? Oh dear. Well, there they are. All right. Thank you. Not a problem. This is interesting. All right. See you later. Brings a tear to my fucking eyes over here. Look at you boys fighting so hard, learning how to do this. How's, course, Emperor. how's everybody doing? Good? May I, may I take this call, Emperor? You go ahead. I guess. Well, not These are my guys, by the way, for those of you who don't know. These are some of my employees. And, uh, oh, there's, uh, there's Lando, actually. Hold on, I gotta go inside and see what a fuck Buddha is, you know? This, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are new, is my restaurant that I own with a very angry old Asian man by the name of Lang Buddha. We also secretly have a terror operation. A terror uh, organization called The Talon. Yeah, there's a bit of a fucking plot twist for you. All right. Exactly. Rob the bastard? Why the fuck would I rob him when I'm their boss? I'm already robbing the fucking wages over here, if you know what I'm saying. Oh! Alright, let's fucking call this... Let's fucking call this guy. Oh, wait. Before I do that... Let me fix my fucking HUD. You gotta do that every time you fucking log in. You know, every time you wake up, you gotta fucking... Change your goddamn phone. Just so it's fucking not crazy, you know? Take it easy. Alright, let's give this motherfucker a call. See what the fuck he's up to. It's also top of the fucking hour. Every hour is time for his... It's over, I gotta call you later, alright? Wait, where the fuck are you? It's we're four, we're four. I'll call you later. Okay. What did he say? I didn't fucking hear it. Did he say it's war? Oh, he said we're four. Oh, he has a full group. Maron. This is what I fucking get. This is what I fucking get. I got fucking Dono walled over here. Oh, they're getting pulled over? I'm not fucking late. I'm going to hang out with my fucking nerds. What's going on? Uh, evening, sir. I've been all right. Today? Fill me in on everything that's happened since I was sleeping. What have you boys uh, been up to? Hmm. I doubled my money, Meow. Perhaps this is a conversation for the staff room. Okay. Well, I mean, we, it's not like we got anybody in here, right? Well, it's no, of course Sarnia, not, right? but... You never be too safe. No, you're right. You're right. Good thinking, Lando. Mobile Bobo Chaklamish. I need the one Turk, but he's the Turk. So, right. talk to me. We've, without time. We've had um. Right, a very few... well. I love you. Yes, Groyon. Thank you. What? We've had a, a few a few uh, things happening. Remember the night when when um the terrorist attack happened and the Joker showed up? Yeah, I do remember. Yes, well later that night, I believe it was that night, was it wasn't it Bjorn? I'm pretty sure. 
That was the same night we had that yes. shift together. We heard them outside. Yes, yes. yes. yes. We, we, um... After that whole night of occurrences, um... Sir 